Stratton and Valley uh, in the Chilterns at a little place called Small Dean Bank, which is a place where the Duke of Burgundy used to fly, became unsuitable, uh, and the butterfly died out. Uh, but we've got habitat conditions suitable again, and um, we're looking after it properly. First of all, we had to work out why the butterfly had become extinct in the first place, address those issues, get restore suitable habitat conditions, and then work out how to bring the butterfly back. So what we did for that is we went and harvested um, eggs um, from Ivinghoe Beacon in the North Chilterns where there's really quite a sizeable population of this little butterfly. The following spring we released 29 adult Duke of Burgundies here at Small Dean Bank and, and 25 uh, at another similar chalk grass and site about 300 yards away. The following year we had a, a quite a reasonable emergence. Now this little butterfly really only ever occurs in very small populations. Um, and the peak count we had uh, in 2012 was a mere 15 adults. Now by Burgundy standards that's actually quite good. Uh, the really good news is they've come through again uh, this year, uh, 2013. And this is His Grace, the Duke of Burgundy. We have no idea how this tiny little butterfly got that name. But it's a cracker of a name. Sadly, this is one of Britain's most rapidly declining butterflies. It is in serious trouble and needs a massive conservation effort. And it's getting it. Crucially, we are not managing these two little sites just for His Grace, the Duke of Burgundy. There's several other species of butterfly and deep moth which require similar conditions. Habitat conditions are looking really good uh, and it's really just up to the butterfly and the weather.